Good people of YouTube, my name is Spanner and welcome back for some more Civilization V. And I've decided to continue a series that I ended a long time ago. A mod of Ice and Fire. Mostly because I don't like leaving things unfinished. And again because the new season of Game of Thrones just started, so what better way to celebrate than with a mod of ice and fire. Last time I went with the Lannisters, this time I'm going with Mance from Beyond the Wall. Gain sculpture for each enemy unit killed. And we have a giant, battering ram, and the war mammoth as our special units. Our map type is Westeros and we'll load scenarios, so uh, it starts with the proper locations and civilizations. Uh, we could mess with the game pace, but I think it just defaults back to standard anyway. So let's begin. Greetings, Mance Raider. You lead the tribal free folk from beyond the wall. The wall separates the free folk from the rest of the Westeros, and in many ways it defines them. Due to their isolation and the rest of Westeros, they remain a free people free of states, free of nobles, kings and laws, but those of their own choosing, following whatever leader they please. They believe that the gods made the earth for all men to share, and when the kings came with their crowns and their steel swords, they stole it, by claiming it was all theirs and theirs alone. They won't dance for coins. They don't care how you style yourself, or what that chain of office means, or who your grandsire was. They follow strength. They follow the man. In the Game of Thrones, you win or you die, Mance Raider. Do you have the strength to lead the free folk south of the wall and defeat the Iron Throne? Well, I'd like to think that's... Yes, we do have the strength. Okay, so... In this scenario, the entire map is revealed. And it's... Pretty big, I guess. So let's see, we have... Edmer from the Riverlands. Olena from the Reach. Rob from the North. Peter Baelish from the Vale. Tywin from the Westerlands. Rinley from the Stormlands. Doran from Dorne. Stannis from the Crownlands. And finally, Balin from the Iron Islands. Okay, what should we begin with? Well, our first objective should be to take Castle Black. And for that we're gonna need an army. So let's see. Uh, let's take us these barbarians, or marauders as they're called in this mod. Uh, let's take those guys out first. Get a monument, then a warrior perhaps. No need for scouts. Since the entire map is already revealed. Oh, I didn't pick the research. Uh, let's see, we have... Some deer... There's marble, maybe go for masonry. Let's go for animal, um, archery, animal husbandry, and masonry. Or go, f or just go for riding first. Archery, then riding, and then we'll see. We're gonna need some archers to take Castle Black. See if we can get rid of these guys so they don't bother us later. More barbarians up 
north. Okay. Hooray! Victory. And we gained some culture from killing them, which is nice. Let's go with tradition. Because I usually like tradition. I think it's safe to move my guys back up to my territory. Let's get a worker now. Oh, so this aristocracy has changed, plus one happiness for every 10 citizens in a city. Doesn't deal with wonders now, because I'm pretty sure there are, there are no wonders. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, got archery. So that's nice. Let's get a guy inside the city since we have oligarchy. We have plenty of forts. I should I should get mining. Oh Lord Balin. Already in war, are you? Against Edmer. Declaration of friendship, sure. Although it feels pretty weird. Fine. Let's all be friends, why not? Sure. Declarations of friendship all around. Alright, got pottery. I should go for mining first. So you can chop down some forests. And maybe, maybe get some farms over here. Since we gotta grow our city. Get a granary and an archer. The Westerlands is not protecting Garen Hall. Alright. Sure. It's only twelve golds. Twelve gold isn't much, and it will help us with our diplomacy. Now, if you remember from last time, I'm pretty sure you can only win this by a domination victory. The Castle Black targets nearby encampments. I guess I can help. Get some farms near the rivers. Let's see, uh, what's the technology that I need for that to be useful? Civil service, I think, to get the extra food bonus from farms next to fresh water. Let's 
good monarchy. I want to expand over here to get the silver. It's all the terrain is all snow, so it's a pretty terrible location. There's no food at all. I guess I don't. Anything interesting in the ocean? Not really. I guess our only luxury is this uh, marble. Got a shrine and another archer. Now, actually, should I get a settler? If I get a settler, now this this terrain is a lot better. I should settle down here. Although I guess I should probably take Castle Black first. Now I do have... Uh, what's it called? No, not catapults. I Don't I have um, battering rams? Where do I get those? Ah, physics! Fine, let's take some mathematics and construction. Get some catapults going, even though they're not that great. They'll still help take Castle Black. build anything here. Ah, I need trapping first. Okay, let's get some more farms. Plenty of archers to take this place. I guess I should get it. Should get more before the um, the settlers. And we are friends now, so let's we can go inside without repercussions. Oh, some marauders there. I guess we could help them a little bit. Can I take this with just these units? I don't think so. Maybe. They don't seem to have any army. Oh, and they even gave me a unit. How kind of them. Totally not canon at all. I'm losing gold now. If I'm gonna do this, I have to do this quick.
let's see, I can aim from here, so we'll take advantage of, of the forest cover. 